buddy. Want to buy a GPS? This little gizmo is the Anywhere Map Quadra. It's a WASP GPS with a moving map and the option for scanned charts and even approach plates. The Quadra is so small that it's a natural as a backup, but the screen size is actually the same as a Garmin Era, so it's acceptable as your primary portable GPS. If you want XM weather, however, you have to connect via Bluetooth to a separate XM receiver. That's not quite as neat and clean a solution as the ERA if you want data link weather in the cockpit. The heart of the Quadra is the Anywhere Map software and its multiple map screens. The moving map shows the critical aircraft information in the corners, and you can toggle the display of the on-screen buttons. Drag the map to scroll. A quick tap of the button will restore your position. And if you tap any airport or waypoint, you'll get a pop-up window with basic important information about that waypoint or airport. Tap it twice, and you get a detailed information window. Here you'll find the airport data, the frequencies, additional information, and, if connected to XM, the weather for the airport. Map views are stored as presets, so to change your view, you select another preset, such as these sectional charts. But each preset is customizable, so you can take one and show just about anything you might want. Instead of sectional charts, maybe you want in route charts. And instead of track up, maybe you want north up. Geo-referenced airport diagrams are standard with the Quattro, so you can see your airplane as it taxis. But the optional pocket plates also gives you the ability to show government approach plates. These are surprisingly readable for such a small screen, although you will have to scroll between the top and bottom of the plate. They're geo-referenced as well, with the airport shown on the plan view, as well as your GPS altitude heading and speed. Another slick trick is that terrain information can be displayed on the plan view as a warning if you're getting too low. When it comes time to update all that data, you can use the Quadra's USB connection, or you can use built-in Wi-Fi. The built-in Wi-Fi can also be used to download weather from an FBO internet connection. This is handy if you show up and you want to get the latest weather for the airports along your route. One thing we've always liked about the Anywhere Map software are the emergency functions. At a button push, you can change your flight plan course line to the nearest airport and then see a range marker, the green arc, shows your glide range to zero AGL given your current ground speed and rate of descent. Even though the range line bobs around if you don't hold a pretty constant rate of descent, you get a good idea right away if the airport you're shooting for is in gliding range or not. Other nice features of the Quadra include rubber band flight planning, reminders for things like fuel tank switches or lowering your gear, and the ability to superimpose Nexrad images on top of those scanned charts. We did have some nits to pick with the Quadra. We think the screen brightness is barely adequate in direct sunlight, especially with the optional screen protector. Zooming on the map is a bit different than other models, and we found ourselves wishing for a simple plus-minus button instead of these ranges. And the software overall is powerful, but not quite as intuitive in our opinion, or maybe as familiar as something like a Garmin era. One thing we really do like about the Quadra is the price. The basic unit is $595 with $115 a year for the data subscriptions. If you want the sectional charts, it's $794, and if you want the en route charts and the approach plates, that'll be $994 with $260 a year for the data subscriptions. If you want the whole shooting match with XM weather, it'll set you back about $1,700. It's a lot of money, but it's a lot of capability in a mighty small package. If you want to find out more, check out their website at anywheremap.com, or you can check out the June issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. I'm Jeff Van West for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. Thanks for watching.